What's up guys, Justin here, and today I'm here to give you guys a full overview of the new Xbox One that Microsoft just unveiled earlier today. So it is kind of a mixed bag. Some people like it, some people really do not. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of the official clips from the event as well as a revealed trailer. So we're going to start out with the hardware. Of course when it comes to gaming, power is key, and Microsoft has claimed that this is 8 times more powerful than the current Xbox. It is powered by an 8 core CPU, an 8GB system memory, 500GB HDD hard drive, a Blu-ray disk drive which is pretty interesting to see that Microsoft has moved to, an 802.11n wireless and Wi-Fi direct of course, HDMI in and out, and there's also USB 3.0 ports. Moving on to the controller, Microsoft claims that over 40 technical and design improvements have been made to the controller. In general, I think the design and ergonomics stay the same, which is a very good thing as I am actually a pretty big fan of the controller right now. And there are also integrated battery compartment now instead of the battery pack that seems to fall out quite easily, the impulse triggers, a Wi-Fi direct radio stack in order to connect to your devices, and also a precision D-pad. So those are just a few of the key features of the controller, but from first looks, I'm a pretty big fan of it. I have heard many good things so far about the impulse triggers from what people have tested, but we're going to see as the device comes out. So now onto the official reveal trailer by Xbox. The console itself looks rather large. It looks a lot like a receiver or something cut in half and put back together. And I think it did surprise many people that it was this large as a lot of devices or consoles are trying to get smaller and smaller. But what Microsoft is really wanting to do is although the size, they want it to be your unified media system which has your TV, um, your social networking, as well as your gaming all in one console. And surprisingly, every single unit will also ship with the Kinect, the new improved Kinect, which definitely looks pretty cool, but I'm sure not everybody would want to have both of those on your home theater system as they do take up quite a bit of space. And the Kinect itself, I'm not really sure how many people would actually use that. By the looks of a controller, it looks rather sharp. As I say, they do have many improvements that they put into this, but in general the design aspect is really similar to the current controller. Microsoft also claims that this device is cloud powered and a lot of the stuff will be downloaded to the hard drive, hence the fact that they have included a 500GB hard drive inside of this. From what it looks like, the early trailers and videos of the gameplay, it definitely looks very good. And you definitely expect that from this being a push out 1080p as well as 4K video which is great to see. And they've also really tried to integrate social networking such as Skype while you're gaming or watching TV. And the utilizing of the Kinect sensor is also put into that. So this has just been a quick overview of the Xbox One. It will be available in the holiday season of 2013, but the pricing has not been announced yet. So there you go, this has just been a full overview of the Xbox One. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below, and be sure to hit that like button on this video as it really helps me out a bunch and subscribe for some more coverage, and I'll see you all in my next video.